Hey film fans and welcome to my list of 5 found footage horror movies worth watching. Now I know this can be a very divisive genre and some people absolutely hate found footage movies but I actually really enjoy them and I think that if you're in the right mood there's some fantastic frights to be had. Now before I get into the list I just want to say if you enjoy the video please like, comment and subscribe and maybe share the list to spread the found footage goodness. So let's get into it. In fifth place we have a film from 2013 called Afflicted. Afflicted is directed by, written by and stars both Derek Lee and Cliff Prowse. The story begins when Derek discovers that he is terminally ill and he decides that he would rather travel the world than go into hospice care. Along with his friend Cliff they decide to go backpacking around the world and document their adventures in a travel vlog. Unfortunately when they are in Paris Derek is attacked and suddenly his body starts to change. What I liked about Afflicted was that the friendship felt very real. I think this translates from the two leads writing and directing the film and honestly if they're not friends in real life I'd genuinely be surprised. Also the premise was really fun. This film was giving off some serious chronicle vibes until things turned horrific. In fourth place we have a film from 2007 called Wreck or Record. This film is directed by Jaume Balaguero and Paco Plaza. The story of Wreck centres around a television reporter and her cameraman who are shadowing a squad of firemen. The first job of the night, to rescue an elderly woman who's trapped in her apartment complex. What should have been a routine search turns into a fight for survival. What I really like about Wreck is the performance of sheer panic delivered by Manuel of Alaska. This really enhances the atmosphere and combined with the dim lighting and the shrieking noises makes the viewer feel like they are trapped right in that building with the characters. In third place we have an infamous film from 1980 called Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust is the movie that started the found footage genre and when this movie came out people really believed that the events had happened. I mean Blair Witch was one thing but the director Ruggiero Diogato was actually taken to court. The story of Cannibal Holocaust begins when a documentary crew goes missing in the Amazon and a rescue team discovers their lost footage. What's on these tapes is very graphic. What I enjoy about Cannibal Holocaust might surprise some people because most people talk about the gore and the shock but actually I really enjoyed the story. I found it really engaging and it didn't play out the way I expected. I was genuinely surprised. I also really enjoyed the environment and yes I did enjoy the gore but this leads me into the bad aspect of this film which is that combined with the fake gore there is actually real animal killings which is absolutely terrible but unfortunately it's already occurred, it's already happened, the director was fined and thank god this doesn't happen anymore in film and it isn't allowed. So really if you don't want to support this film I completely understand. I actually watched a bootleg of it and there is a version of the film where you can watch it without seeing the animal killings. So I would recommend actually getting that version because I really felt sick and sad when I saw the animals being killed. In second place we have a film from 2014 called As Above So Below. This is directed by John Eric Dowdle and the film plays out more like an adventure movie than a horror movie but believe me it's very creepy and at times it is horrific. The story of As Above So Below centres around a team of explorers who venture into the depths of the catacombs beneath Paris. They're searching for the Philosopher's Stone and when they go off track they end up getting lost in the labyrinth of bones and descending on a journey into madness and terror. What I really loved about As Above So Below was the sense of adventure. I really got invested in the characters and the lore of this movie and I really enjoyed going into the depths of hell with these characters. Honestly this movie's so claustrophobic and creepy yet you still feel like you're having fun the whole time. In first place we have the classic film from 1999 The Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project is directed by Daniel Myrick and Eduardo Sanchez. The story of the Blair Witch begins in October of 1994 when three student filmmakers who are making a documentary on the Blair Witch enter the woods in search of the Blair Witch. They're never heard from again. The only thing that remains is their footage which was found one year later and contains their final moments. What I love about the Blair Witch Project is how authentic it feels. The film starts out as a documentary where we get invested in the lore of the Blair Witch. Then we go into the woods and it descends into chaos. The beauty of the Blair Witch Project is how unpolished the film is. There are no artistic camera angles in here, in fact a lot of the camera angles are actually unflattering. 
In addition to this, the characters don't feel like actors. They honestly feel like real people and they look like real people. It's a very unglamorous movie. There is no hair and makeup. It doesn't look like there was any set design. It looks like a couple of students went out into the woods to make a documentary and they got lost. They really do look disheveled. Another key area that made the Blair Witch special, and it's something that I still love to this day, is the viral marketing behind the movie. This movie came out when the internet was in its early stages, so people couldn't fact check every little detail about this movie. People believed that it was found footage, and word of mouth spread. I have an aunt who to this day believes that the Blair Witch Project is actually a documentary. <laughs> This is where I get a little bit biased, but when my friends and I were kids, we used to be little ghost hunters and we lived right beside the forest. And we used to always go camping. So you can imagine what the Blair Witch did for us. We were so scared, but it was in such a fun, excited way. And that's why this movie is number one for me. Okay, so that was my list of five found footage horror movies worth watching. I hope you enjoyed the list. Did you agree with my choices? Have you seen these movies? And do you have any recommendations for me? Because I really do enjoy watching found footage movies. I know there's some bad ones out there, but I think when they're done right, they're very enjoyable. And even the bad ones, they're just sometimes fun to put on for light watching. So please give me your top five found footage movies. I'd really enjoy reading that. And like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and maybe share it. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. Bye.